Yeah. Um, so um, obviously there's not much of a gig life. There's um, no gig life. There's no all. gig life. Yeah. So how, how are you making money? Not obviously yeah. not as not I mean, obviously I shouldn't say obviously. You can probably yeah. make you, you have you have a whole music list on your Spotify, right? Yeah, your music's on, on Spotify. Not on my band camp actually. So band camp. I'm oh, sorry, okay, band that, camp. That's I didn't okay. See that. No, yeah, that's fine. That. So, look, you know, people that like the music that I write um, are generous enough and they go and they purchase it um, and I think it's like $2.50. So that, that's been amazing to help me keep afloat in a lot of ways. Um, so I'm very fortunate for that. Um, yeah, but look, no gig life, that is horrible and it's saddening, but you know what's even worse? It's required for a musician. Hey. Gig life is required. Oh. Like you're, you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be going to your wineries and, and pubs and you're supposed it, to be able to do that. But yeah, you can't. And Melbourne, Melbourne was this creative, like Melbourne was amazing. Yeah, it like, was. It, it really was incredible. Um, but you know what gets me is that rehearsal studios, they closed them down. So people couldn't even get together and practice with their own band so anything that was good for you any type of creating band anything that's good for you is banned like didn't they get rid in victoria they got rid of tea rooms for like people working outside and so they sat yeah. on tables and put them on the roads i'm like good oh it's the that. dumb oh dumbest thing and now we're going to start seeing we're literally going to start seeing people knocking people back because they're not um, you know, they don't have the the medicine or whatever going yeah. into shops. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's just, you know, am I meant to tell my grandmother that she doesn't matter but my grandfather that he matters? Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm meant to do? Am I meant to say to my grandmother, you haven't had it so you can sit at home and rot and die because my grandfather's had it who had Bell's palsy, like he had a, a reaction to, you know, but oh. like anyway. Oh, and don't even start me on that. I know we're not meant to be talking about this, but... No, I'm so modestly, what? I don't mind where the conversation's going. Oh, it's the same when... thing that happened with Senator Malcolm Roberts. We oh. ended up talking more about the Bible than, than politics, but oh, it was fine it's... with me. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> you know, what? The, our biggest enemy is censorship because if we were all yes. allowed to have an open and honest discussion, then we would actually be okay, but they don't want us to have that. They don't want to have this. They don't want us to have that discussion because they're lying. So when they say that these side effects are rare, what does rare mean? Rare. The definition is hardly ever, right? Hardly yeah. ever. One in okay? a million. I don't yep, know. That's rare. They're obviously trying to uh, to change the definition of rare because I can tell you right now, I know. Oh my goodness. Neighbor hang went on, to hospital. On. Yo. Sorry. Sorry. Hang on. My. Give me a sec. Sorry, my my. No, yeah, all good. Okay. My apologies. My. That's okay. My phone. I thought my laptop was charging and it wasn't. Now it is. Okay. All good. Oh. <laughs> cool. Yeah, okay. I'll keep watching right. my battery as well. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah keep my yeah. my neighbor off to hospital. She went after her first. Um, my friend, two of her colleagues, one of them went to hospital. Um, the other one I believe now has a condition. Uh, so that's already three. My grandfather uh, now is too scared to have his second one. Um, and I know there are more, but I just go, uh, but I also know many that have had it and had no issues, right? And that's cool. But, but hang on a second, where there is risk, shouldn't there be choice, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all we're trying to say. So I don't understand the, what's going on. The, it's funny too because people would ask earlier, earlier in the year, early in 2020, early when it was happening, everyone said, how many, how many of you know someone who's personally had C19? Yeah. And usually the answer was, um, oh, I don't know anyone. Yeah. That's not my answer anymore. I do know people, a cousin yeah. of mine in Colombia who yeah. I actually interviewed on this channel okay. uh, got it. But yep. she was fine after like a week. She was fine. Okay. So and so I was like, all right, yep. well, there you go. But the thing is, you've just named, you've just literally said about four people yeah. with 
with the inoculation, I'm purposely using that word instead of the V word. Yeah. Yeah. You've, you've, yeah, you've named that many people with the inoculation that have had some sort of a reaction. Now, no one in, no one who I know in life has had a reaction, thank the Lord, yeah. but that doesn't mean that something cannot arise later. And that, that is my concern. And my father, for example, didn't know, he didn't he didn't want to take the the, the inoculation. Uh, he, he was scared. He goes, "Well, I'm old. Like, what if uh, like I get a how, blood sorry, clot?" Sorry, How old is he? Ah, uh, if you 70, don't mind me asking. Okay. Yeah, I think he's seventy six. I think he's seventy six. So my father, he's a bit old. Yeah. So can someone explain this to me? When we when they told us two weeks to flatten the curve, we are doing. We were meant to be doing it to protect our elderly and vulnerable. Right? My dad is so, in that category, yeah. Totally. So tell me now why, have people lost their minds? Why yes. are we now forcing a 70-year-old man to take something he doesn't want to take? No, he doesn't want to take it. He was scared to, yeah. That, I mean, that is heartbreaking. I just, yeah. I really feel for a lot of our elderly people, I just go, they have worked hard you know, they are, you know, they're meant to be enjoying their older, their later years. You know, they should be free to to do what they want with their bodies. And if they want to do it to feel better, then good. But, you know, to be forcing them. I know a 74-year-old woman who's about to lose her job because she won't have it. I, mm. I go, she's 74, I think, yeah. Yeah, and it's also like it's really gotten to people. It's like even... Um... It's even um, going to segregate families. Um, like, I don't know what my Christmas is going to be like, and it makes me really sad. Yeah. And it, it, is that happening in your family? 